Do you get stressed when you have to write? You don't know where to start? Your sentences always sound the same. Writing is terrifying! <laughs> <laughs> Here are six ways to start a sentence. 1. The subject. One of the best ways to start a sentence is to put the subject first and the verb second. The subject of a sentence is the person, place, thing, or idea. It has to be followed by a verb, a word that tells you what the subject is doing. I cooked. Spaghetti. The dog ran home. John read a book. Number two. Explaining where or when something happens. You can start a sentence with words that tell you where something is happening. On the beach, there was a shipwreck. Or it could be beside the beach, by the beach, near the beach. You can also start a sentence with words that tell you when something is happening. After school, we played computer games. Or it could be before school. Don't forget to use a comma. <sighs> Number three, asking a question. Have you ever thought of starting a sentence with a question? A question makes the reader think. Which songs do you like best? <laughs> Who is the richest person in the world? Make sure you answer your question in the next sentence. Have you brushed your teeth today? Forgetting to brush your teeth leads to bad breath and tooth decay. <laughs> oh! Four, an ing phrase. You can start a sentence with an action ending in ing. Looking at the clock, she realized she was going to be late. Sitting on the beach, I watched the sun set over the ocean. Running home quickly, she got soaked in the pouring rain. Or you can use a doing word ending with ed. Frightened by the loud fireworks, the dog hid under the table. Excited about her birthday, she woke up very early. If you do start with ing or ed words, don't forget to use a comma before you complete the sentence. Six. L-Y words. Finally, the last way to start a sentence is using an L-Y word. Carefully, she tiptoed past the sleeping monster. Hungrily, the dog chewed the bone. These L-Y words also need a comma before you write the rest of the sentence. Well, now you know six different ways to start a sentence. Before you start writing, add them to your plan to remind you to use them, and you'll find that writing isn't so scary after all. <laughs>